Microsoft Azure Backup. Now there's quite a few things you can back up up into Azure. Um, all of those options will first require a recovery services vault that you need to create first. Um, you just choose the location of where you want the backup vault and then choose whether you want to use local redundancy or geographical redundancy. The default is geographical but if you're not purely relying on Azure Backup then you can change it to locally redundant. The options for backing up to um, Azure Backup, first of all you've got virtual machines themselves. If you've got Azure VMs you can back up the entire VM or VMs straight into the recovery services vault on a scheduled basis. Um, the other option is if you're looking to back up just the data from either a VM or a physical machine, uh, again either VM in Azure, VM on-premise or a, a physical machine on-premise, you can install the agent, um, it's a small little da free download, install it on the server and it will back up the data from that server, just the local drive on that server up into Azure to back up the recovery services vault. If you want to back up um, things like on-prem SQL Server, on-prem Exchange, on-prem Hyper-V VMs and um, SharePoint, then you need to install the Azure Backup Server. Now this is quite a big bit of software, it's based on Microsoft's um, Data Protection Manager, DPM. Um, quite tricky to um, get it installed and configured properly, um, but just follow the instructions and it and it kind of does what it says on the tin. Once it's installed, you can then browse your network, pick up all the different servers, Exchange servers, I say SQL servers, SharePoint, it will see your Hyper-V infrastructure and allow you to back up the VMs as well. Um, you do need local storage on the machine, again whether it's a virtual machine or a physical machine where Azure Backup Server is installed. Um, you need enough local storage to handle all the backup that you want because it has to back up to the Azure Backup Server first for at least a day before it then transfers it up into Azure. So you can't just go from on-prem for example straight to Azure, you have to go from on-prem to the backup server and then from the backup server it goes up into Azure. Um, very useful tool, the software is all free, uh, all you're effectively paying for is just the amount of storage that's used within the recovery services vault.